Hello friends, this is Rocco Zifarelli. Welcome to another video for Guitar Techniques magazine. Uh, after the six video series we already did uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, another song from Jason Sidwell. Uh, Jason sent me this kind of uh, backing tracks. Uh, really nice, a sort of, uh, this is a sort of uh, shockful rock feel. Uh, on which I try to improvise everything as always. Um, I try to uh, memorize the changes and the breaks and then record some several tracks of improvisation then I choose uh, the one that has some ideas that it is, is uh, interesting to discuss about. This time I've uh, decided to put a sort of a melody on the top and uh, on the ending. I write down the, the melody and um, also Already on the medley, uh, uh, there are some ideas that I want to speak about. The ideas in this uh, um, tune that I want to to, to talk is uh, are most are mostly comes from uh, my jazz background, my jazz study background. Um, I think it's very important to take some ideas that come from another environment, music environment, and put on another, and uh, trying to develop some something. And uh, I think it's very, I, I, I like this kind of approach to, to music. Um, I want to start with the, the concept of the quarter harmony. Uh, there are some, some licks that where I use it. This concept comes from the, the, the quartal harmony that uh, means uh, uh, instead of uh, built a, a triad, taking the, um, the notes in a distance of third, like uh, the, the triad of C major, C, E, G, it's a major third, uh, C and E, and a minor third, uh, E, G. Instead of taking the, the, um, this intervals of third, let's try to take the intervals of fourth, um that means we we have the we have to use the, the only the, the notes of the of the c major scale so the fourth of c is f the fourth of, of f is b and the, the triads uh, is this one that has a bit weird sound you know? so it's very important to develop this kind of uh, triad as you do we did with the the regular triad um, like uh, create an harmonization, harmonization of the major scale with um, quartal triad. Or maybe we can uh, we can add another note on uh, on the bottom. This is harmony and uh, also very interesting to play this in melodic way as well. Uh, interesting also the, the inversion of quartal harmony. Um, the 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 regular C sus4 like sus4 chord triad it's a sort of inversion of quartal and also it's very uh, interesting to develop uh, the, um, the harmonization of this kind of triads as well. So it's very interesting to put some uh, bass. But I did something during the solo as well, uh, during the solo. I, 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 I just improvised that, so I, it was an idea that comes from me and uh, I played that. Um, this kind of conceptions also uh, brings me about the, the discussion about the, the, the cluster triads. The sus4 triad is a cluster triad, that means that uh, you have a, a chord uh, with inside an interval of second 
okay? So sus4 has an interval of 4, D, F, uh, uh, C, F, and then F, G is an interval of the second. That is pretty, also pretty interesting sound, you know? And, uh, or maybe take another kind of uh, um, cluster tried like uh, uh, root, second, and six. Speaking about harmony, um, I also used uh, some licks with the with the open triad, open triad like this. Uh. Open triad, I add some triads. Um, that uh, that uh, you have to consider as a, a closest triad you know, on which you take the the note in the middle like uh, we, we are in C um, C E and the G the E take the E and put the E on the on one of the um, above so you have the um, the triad of the uh, root fifth and the third tenth maybe uh, this is the sound, and um, it's very easy to sound. Very, very important in the classical music. Uh, you can hear this a lot from uh, Bach, from everybody, and uh, also in pop a lot. You can play this uh, harmonically or melodically. There are some guitar players like Eric Johnson. There are uh, um, use a lot of this kind of uh, try this uh, try this melodically. And uh, or maybe harmonically, uh, you know, sting song, sting tune, uh, um, Ship of My Heart, composed by Dominic Miller. So it's very important to to um, to study all, all kinds of inversion, position possibilities, you know, and progression. Harmonica melodically. Mix some uh, uh, triads with phrase. I play something during, like this uh, during the um, the solo. I, I play progression in I, th I think it was in, in the major, in the major, something like that. I play a lot of pentatonics, uh, like rock pentatonics, blues pentatonics, um, and um, but I also play some pentatonics uh, uh, played in two notes. You know, two note pentatonics. That means two notes on two strings. It's very important to play this in position. Every, uh, vertically and horizontally. So this kind of uh, um, Two note chords like diets, maybe, yeah, and uh, has this kind of uh, intervals fourth, you know, uh, third, fourth, 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 third, major third, fourth, fourth, fourth. You can see better in a horizontal way you have uh, this interval fourth, 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 major third, fourth, fourth, fourth. So you have four time one, two, three, four. The um, two notes of four, two in, an interval of fourth, and then a, and then you have one time the third. So one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, and then again one. And uh, in, since you have uh, the same shape, the same uh, uh, intervals, you, know, you can do some. I 
did this on, I think, in lead. Um, okay. Um, hope you enjoyed this and um, hope to see you soon again. Okay? Bye bye.